Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, today in this video we want to see uh, how do we add a record using a display file as a file into a, a physical file. So I'm going to continue from where we have left on the load also file. So the load also file what we have seen, we have written a sam simple uh, program okay, which actually does this. So listing down all the records from a file called student pf. So you can see uh, this is basically displaying everything and uh, what we are going to do now is uh, okay also we have added the position cursor like if you give 13 and then it will go to the 13 so if you have not watched that video i am giving the giving you the link in the description box you can go and watch it so it this is the continuation of that video to add a new option called f6 okay if you press f6 there should be a pop-up window coming with the you no know, details uh, for the input and then upon uh, pressing enter you should be able to add it in the pf so let's get started okay so before we go further i'm just going i would like to show you the output first okay so let's see how this looks like so we are up to this so we, should, we are going to add a new um, option called f6 so if we press it there should be a window coming up okay for getting the new record and then you can give uh, the new whatever the record name you want okay whatever and uh, upon pressing maybe the enter it should be it should be saying uh, what is the error okay and uh, upon giving all the fields correctly you should be able to see the record fully and then if you exit and come page down you should be able to see the record in the pf so this is what we are going to do let's get started here is our display file uh, what we are going to do first i'm going to add uh, the text uh, in the footer okay f6 add okay done so f12 coming out so now we need the actual window so i'm going to add um, add rec maybe okay and then it's going to be a window so in window the major parameters like uh, general parameters the main uh, thing is a uh, window parameter ui so these four uh, numbers are important so which actually says uh, where your window is going to come so for example i'm just going to draw it using a cursor assume this is going to be a window okay so we need to give this position and this position basically so this consists of how many rows and how many columns we have and then from this point how many uh, rows we want and how many column width we want that is a uh, four parameters so you can see the start line and start position start line basically means like one two three kind of stuff and short position means whatever the position we have right here so in this case uh, take my cursor okay so you can see the value is getting changed okay if we move the cursor so if you come down so this is actually it says the fifth okay it's the fifth uh, row and then 17th column you can see right left to right it's getting uh, increase and decrease so we want the starting position as 5 and uh, 17 and we want this much uh, another 15 we want and then here we want another maybe 20 or whatever so I'm, what i'm going to say like uh, i'm going to say my start actual line of starting is 4 okay 4 rows okay and then start position uh, may be uh, 15 and then from there i want uh, 13 lines down and then 40 column to the right enter okay so let's first see how this looks okay now we have done with the thing that's f12 okay good so this is what this is how the window will look like so now uh, let's quickly add uh, a yeah, small heading we will do it quickly okay for uh, speeding up okay i have added the basic uh, labels so here you can give if you want to indent it you can indent like this if you want to add some color put a star on top of it and you say you can have a underline with white color okay so similarly um, we will be having error message plus o of uh, 25 okay and we can have this as a window error message variable name Okay, now we want to add the fields we, either you can have your own uh, variable names here or, or else you can actually import from the pf i'm pressing f10 which will give me the option so i'm going to select my student pf from the oes1 library and take f4 into the format and i'm going to select everything as 
uh, option for both because if there is any error we need to display the error right so we should have both input and output so i'm selecting everything so it should be displaying in the bottom now you want to import these fields into the uh, display file you can use ampersand then the number one if you give enter that will be imported here and similarly now you can see it's rearranged on again to one two three so ambassand one again for the name and then come down ambassand one again for the department and come down ambassand one again for the grade you can see there is slight bit of uh, misalignment you can have it by shifting this one to the right okay good so i think we are good with that we have just turned the screen design now we have added a functional key f12 so we need assign fun f12 here so i'm pressing f F12 and then giving 8 and then saying general record keyword indicator keyword CA12 is the response is 12 and say cancel okay good so we are done with the screen design so to give uh, another tip right so if you go to the general keyword we have something called border keywords if you go to border you'll be having some set of options okay as of now I'm going to say uh, color okay and then border so color it's a window color we what you want the border color okay maybe we say i want blue okay and here is the interesting thing so the top left i'm saying okay asterisk and top border i want hyphen top right i want asterisk and left border is pipe symbol right border is also pipe symbol uh, bottom left maybe uh, hash sign bottom border can be uh, hyphen bottom right can be a hash so what we have done is we have designed the uh, border so which means now you can see the difference so this is the uh, top left and top right those stuff so you can give your own uh, now whatever the character you want to make it uh, beautiful i can say okay and also you can give some other reverse, reverse image those of that you can be playing with okay so that's it we have just done the screen design uh, so instead of doing all changes i'm just going to check whether this is working or not so I am just saving this file okay and then I am compiling this okay done so now I am going to the RPGLD okay so here what we are seeing like we have just clear, uh, load subroutine and then that's it so this is the part which will be executed until we press F3 it will be displaying the sub file and this is the cursor position we have handled so now what we are going to do after this we're going to check whether if uh, in 06 is equals to on okay if f6 is pressed okay and if and if f6 is pressed what we are going to do we're going to say uh, ex fmt add rec so we're going to display the window so here f6 is a part of the sub file but we didn't add it so we just let's quickly add it uh, where is the, is the display file and then give 17 okay in sub file control take 8 uh, general keyword no 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 record keyword indicator keyword so we also need to handle f6 here 06 add else if you press f6 it won't work on the screen okay let's quickly 14 14 14 14 okay and here that's it so it will just need to display it so let's see how it look like okay then we'll proceed for the file uh, 14 okay it's compiled with oh okay let me check i don't know why i always do spelling mistakes add red not red <laughs> okay sorry apologies so let's quickly compile this okay so if we call this okay we are able to see the new uh, option coming in the bottom but if you press f6 it is showing the it's coming with the default record okay so that is because we are using the same uh, variable name as a, a database name so when the sub file is getting loaded the last record will be saved in the same variable and then when we stick f6 okay this window is also using the same variable so it's just displayed the same so what we need to do is when we press f6 we should initialize these variables and then display it then only we will be seeing the empty record so let me quickly add the code 
okay so after we display the exit fmt i'm going to call a execute subroutine called add rec. okay and let's quickly add that okay so before we execute the window or display the window we should initialize the variable so we are initializing the variables and then we are displaying the window then uh, we are executing a subroutine which will be handling the validations okay so this is our uh, subroutine code so we are just checking whether uh, individual, individual fields are having proper values okay and then displaying the error messages accordingly and then if it coming to this else point which means we have value for all the uh, variables so we are writing it and then we are writing the message like add successfully and then we are reinstalling again because it will again go and display the uh, window again at that time we should not be able uh, having the uh, variables of the earlier state okay and one more thing what we are going to do is uh, this add rec is the right so I mean this execute sub uh, ex exfmt window should be uh, displaying it again and again until we press F12. So I'm just going to add here like uh, do while I am sure is equals to off. Then you just need to display this and then process this. And let's do some indentation. Okay, cool. So we have completed the code. Okay, before that, uh, one point. So here we are going to have, uh, till now the student PF was only in input mode. So we are going to make it the output mode. So I'm taking F4 and then I'm say file addition is A. So this will allow us to write the record. So file, okay, and then 14, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so again, uh, some typo, sorry, student name, not name. okay good so let's see how this looks like so i'm taking i'm taking f6 so i'm seeing the record without any data which is good it has initialized so i'm typing some number uh, wait so if i press enter i'm getting record successfully so let's do some validation if i press enter without giving anything it says number cannot be zero and it says name cannot be zero and if you give some name it says department grade cannot be zero or oh, i think the text is truncated we need to increase the length okay uh, that's it so if you press f12 here is the point so we are not see able to see any rec records we added that's because this is not uh, reloaded again okay so for example if you press f3 and then call the program again if you paste down we should be able to see the record which we added so the record is getting inserted into the file but uh, it is not displayed immediately after we press coming out of the uh, window so what i'm going to do for that i'm going to um, reload the subfile again once we come out of the window uh, so the code should be here like um, here we see whether it's f12 ah, one more important thing so after we come out of f12 right so the indicator will be still always on but we don't want that because next time when we take f6 it will go to the screen and then if you see the uh, indicator 12 is still on so it will come out so what we need to do as soon as we come out of this window which means we press f12 we, we are coming out of the window so here uh, i'm going to say star i and 12 is equals to off so we just if you press f12 it will be on so we will be coming out of the window then i say i'm switching up the indicator again then we need to uh, reload the uh, page correct so for that what I'm going to do, I'm just taking the come on, come on, so create so clear and load subroutine. So let me put that here. Okay, let's see how this looks like. Okay, let me compile this. It's fine. So I'm going to call this program now. So we're gonna say F6. So to see the immediate result right here, I'm going to give a number in between. So let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to give uh, six and new student and department is new and grade is uh, AA. Okay, and I'm pressing enter. It says successfully. So if you press F12, we'll be able to see the record in the uh, subfile without 
uh, reloading it which means the program is already reloading it so i hope you would have had some idea how to add a physical file record from a display file or a sub file so that's it for this video uh, we'll see further in the next video like come upcoming videos how to delete or update the physical file using the sub file and display file and after that once we complete the load all uh, sub file we'll go and see the elastic sub file or uh, one page at a time okay and then we'll see some of the other uh, display file options like uh, radio button drop down box those things okay so i hope this will be up upcoming videos will be interesting and i will see you soon in the next video thanks for watching